This is the Salesforce UI. We've added two sections to it, Sales Guides and the Guide Designer. Sales Guides help sales reps to know what they should say and what they should do given the situation with the current lead. For example, have you heard of us? If not, information about the company and the products. It can collect information that can be fed into the Salesforce object, like the title. It can also ask questions like, are you already using a competitive product? And if so, what are the aspects of the competitive products you don't like? For example, poor support, which prompts a script about how great the support is in comparison to the competition. This whole script, this sales guide, is very easy to produce. Let me show you the guide designer. I'll now show the creation of a sales guide from scratch. I'll create a guide for a new version of the product coming out that um, will be an excuse to talk to them. I'll put this into a lead nurturing category. What you don't see is any palette or large set of menus. You just see the first screen. And when you open that screen, you can type in the instructions that the sales rep will see and the question they should answer. In this case, can I schedule a demo? The answers of yes, let's go ahead and schedule that. Call me when it's ready or no. If I hit preview, I can see what the end user will see when this actually runs. When I apply, I get a new branch in my guidance tree for each answer to the question of can I schedule a demo. Under scheduling, I'm going to add another a step that's not a screen, but an automated step. These are steps that you can use to access any of the capabilities of Salesforce. In this case, I'm going to send a Salesforce chatter message with text of got a live one. Using automated steps is as simple as that. I could continue to create screens and automated steps, but I can also use an existing guide. And I'll use an existing guide for scheduling a meeting. Even now, even though it isn't complete, I can save this guide and see it as a new guide in my list of sales guides and simply publish it. Publishing it makes it immediately available as one of the guides under the list of sales guides. We have a new section called Lead Nurturing. We see the instructions that we typed into our new sales guide and the various answers that we gave to the question. If I go to Schedule, I get the ability to schedule a meeting. But you may recall that before doing the scheduling of the meeting, it also sent us a chatter message. So I can scroll up and show the chatter messages for this and see the got a live one chatter message that was put there automatically by having run this sales guide. Creating a sales guide is as simple as that. Similarly easy to add to one or modify one. Sales guides can grow to be quite large. Cloud Extend has a unique innovative capability that shows you only the parts of the guidance tree that you're working on at any time, collapsing the parts of the tree that aren't relevant and expanding the parts that are relevant. This makes it much easier to work with a large tree and also easier to manipulate that tree because you can also cut and paste entire subtrees as you work to create the sales guide that you want.